This is Study Your Stacks and welcome to my next chapter. Yo. So hey guys, um, this is Tony o. Starks. Um, so if this is the first time um, that you're going to be watching one of my vlogs, um, this is my attempt to actually cover more um, you know, more people uh, to educate more people into how to use um, their ABP lineup. Um, of course, if you're new to Axie Infinity, um, ABP stands for um, Aqua, Beast, and Plant. And of course, uh, as we all know, the current meta is this uh, Terminator Reptile, um, which is what um, I'll show you uh, on how to be, you know, beating this kind of lineup. So that's a uh, Reptile, Beast, and a Plant, right? Uh, so if you're having a hard time, uh, beating um, an RBP lineup. Um, in this video, I will show you on how to beat this particular lineup in under four minutes. Okay, so I've recorded um, this session that I've made earlier. This was exactly 30 seconds, 36 seconds um, ago. Um, so hopefully, um, the uh, the thought process is still you know fresh in my mind, uh, and then I'll try and pause um, in between just so you understand uh, how it's gonna go. All right, so um, I'll go ahead and play it and. Let's go. All right, so that's my ABP, and that's what we're up against. Um, this, and this particular video, uh, as we all know, in round one, it's all about um, you know energy accumulation, right? Um, the more energy that you gain, um, then of course the more chances of winning, right? Especially with a reptile, because I'm telling you now, the key to actually winning against a reptile is um, a lot uh, of energy. I myself, my goal is actually to have at least um, maybe six energy going in, uh, going close to actually the blood moon uh, round, right? So that's my objective here. Um, so of course, um, if you play uh, round one, luckily um, I, I get my free card and you know my steel, right? And then he does the same, used his uh, pumpkin, and then the veggie bite. Okay, so we have three. So right now I have five energy as three, right? What he tries to do here is he tries to eliminate my plant, right? Um, by going on, uh, going for the high damages uh, outright in round two, because normally we're still stealing energies here and there in round two up until round three, right? So what he does is he became really aggressive. Um, he was successful, you know, he was able to kill my plant. Um, and then on round, you know, the next round I have seven energy. Um, of course, I had to retaliate, right? Uh, and I'm sh I know that there's gonna be uh, the carrot there. Um, so I was able to, you know, deal enough damage, right? So at this point, I'll have um, five up against his three energy, right? So the mistake that he did here is that he assumed that I don't have enough cards yet for my Aqua, right? It's, uh, as you can see, he tried to position his beast um, you know, he tried to attack using his beast when obviously his beast is not the fastest beast that we're ever, you know, that we've ever seen, right? And um, for all of you who's been using Aqua, you know that three cards can kill this particular beast, which what I did, which is what I did, right? Of course, I'm gonna KO him here. So now he's down to uh, two energy, and then I have four, right? So the thing here, again, um, as I mentioned earlier, this is a marathon when it's a, a reptile that you're up against, right? So you need to sacrifice this beast. You need to milk all the energy that you can get as much as possible. Uh, so as you can see, he tried using all of his four energy to try and kill the beast, which obviously will not happen unless, you know, he gets critical, at least two criticals. So it's not going to happen here. Uh, he used four cards, right? So one, two... Three. Good for him. Um, he had the slow card, but of course that's only gonna stun my beast, but he's not gonna kill it. So now I have six energy, um, and then he has, you know, just two. So even with that, um, he's not gonna kill my beast, right? Which means I'll get eight uh, in the next round, which of course I didn't use, right? I want to have as much energy, and me having that ten energy going close to, you know, the Blood Moon round, pretty much almost guarantees my win, not unless he gets two criticals, two to three criticals off of me. Okay, so round eight, I have 10, right? And then he has four. 
So what I'll do um, is what I normally do. I'll only um, use two cards here because I'm sure there's going to be that sticky goo, right? And then I made sure that I have that swift escape. Because the thing with Reptile is that they slow you down, right? So this negates that, um, you know, that slow card. Okay, so one, two, I get stunned. Obviously, what's, that's going to happen. So I used all four. He's not going to kill my, you know, my Aqua with all of those four. Not unless I get, you know, hit by a critical. So with that, I still have 10 energy, right? And I can splurge. So I'll use my Swift Escape just to counter the slow. Uh, and then two heals, and then the up, you know, the upstream swim. Just to remove, you know, that stun, right? So again, he goes for the same thing um, with, you know, th th this is the usual combo that they use for reptiles, right? They try to slow you down, um, but again, that's not going to happen if you have a, an ADP lineup, especially with this kind of lineup. So again, you heal, and then you can splurge again. Uh, even if you're stunned, this is just to remove the stun, right? But if you can't splurge, I'd say just use three cards uh, in that you know particular order, right? So they stun you again, all right? The thing is, I have the heal, and he doesn't. So going into round eleven again, I can still splurge, all right? It's the same thing, and then heal, and then I just remove the stun. And he he's not gonna win with just you know with just two energy left with him. And then this is where it ends. Alright, I still heal. Hit him, get stunned, remove the stun, and then finish him off. Alright. There you go. So yeah, uh that is you know it's it's not as simple because it took me like I don't know, maybe two <laughs> two months <laughs> to actually figure that out. But if you have this particular lineup, uh, an ADP lineup with that set of cards, I assure you that would definitely increase your chance of winning against an RBP lineup uh, because you have you know the the card that negates uh, the slow, you have heal, uh, and then of course you have you know the uh, the defense, right? Um, so yeah. Uh, I hope this helps. Um, you know, I hope this helps you understand how to play your ADP lineup up against that meta uh, Termi Reptile lineup uh, at the moment. Um, so yeah, if, if if you like these kind of videos, um, you know, just let me know. Um, add a comment, like, subscribe, um, and then I'll try and make as much video in English as I can because I'm not you know that familiar in how to add subtitles just yet. Um, so yeah, I can definitely help you out if you have an ADP lineup. So again, this is Tonio Starks. Good day, everyone. Bye-bye.